So we are hearing in chapter 13 about who is a wise person. There were a few items listed in 7 and 8, verses 7 and 8. Verses 9 and 10, a few more are given to us. In 9, it says, do not be possessive about, let me rephrase, when I say do not, it looks like a commandment. We are, we are trying to define who is a wise person. So it's not saying do not about any of these things. When you achieve some of these qualities, you become wise. So, having said that, I'll rephrase. Not being possessive about your spouse, your children, your house, and being steadfast about likes and dislikes. And in verse 10, devotion to divinity with full focus. The next, next one mentioned is a bit intriguing, requires pondering. So what is mentioned? It says, solitude through dislikes to social gatherings, parties. Once again, it does not say do not have parties or do not go to the parties. Of course, we all love parties, many of us. Going to a community gathering at a temple when there is a discourse is a social gathering. So it's saying dislike to such things. So a wise person perhaps will not consider it is necessary to attend such social gatherings. So definition of the wise person seems to be quite consistent with some of these requirements. You know, if you read comics, they would always depict a wise man as somebody sitting at the top of a hill. Lots of, you know, big beards, lots of uh, uh, suit. And um, and somebody you know like who wants uh, some advice walks up the hill to meet that person that person is uh, therefore in solitude so that is actually the understanding of wisdom some misinterpret some of these things said in religious scriptures as commandments it says, not going to parties, you know, you say, uh, uh, seek solitude by not going to gatherings. That's not a commandment. It says, a wise man would not need that. I also understand that strictly following some of these things mentioned does not make me wise. Arjuna's question is, who is Jnani? The answer is, a person with all these qualities is a Jnani. So we must not lose track of that aspect of it.
it is understanding who is wise i am wise if i have achieved these things these qualities that have been listed in verses 7 8 9 and 10 and are there more we will see